Well, let me let's let's start formally. And yes. <laughs> so uh, this is the Ortelius uh, architecture meeting on April fifteenth for the Australian uh, time zone ish. <laughs> we have people from other time zones as well. Um, so I put the uh, let me drop the link in there again because Zoom's a little weird. Um, if you could uh just add yourself to the um afternoon part of the meeting uh the 4 30 mst and i'm going to kind of go over what we had done this morning uh us time and then you guys can uh jump in there from from there so uh just to we'll go over this real quick um for those of you who don't know me, I'm Steve Taylor. Uh, I'm the CEO of uh, Deploy Hub and one of the original founders of the Ortelius project. Um, uh, the code base came from the Deploy Hub side, so I'm very familiar with that. And I've been driving the um, development and kind of running these architecture meetings uh, for people to get involved. So just a quick update from what happened this morning. We do have some uh, a she code Africa, which we have two mentees from Nigeria um, that are learning to program. And we're not only getting them to learn how to program, but also how to do some DevOps with uh, Kubernetes and things like cloud build as part of that process. Um, Sergio uh, also gave a little update um, on how to set up uh, a local Kubernetes environment. Uh, that's one of the things that we've been kind of uh, getting out there is how to get a good development environment up and going relatively quickly. He's gonna make that pretty much push button um, and that will be coming out here soon. Uh, we did talk about Kind. Uh, kind is what the Kubernetes SIG uses to run Kubernetes uh, locally without having to run a, a VM like Minikube. Um, so that was some of the things that we found that was very uh, convenient to use uh, instead of having to provision a big VM. Uh, and as part of that, uh, we're looking at the possibility of taking uh, Helm, uh, Docker and Scaffold to pull together uh, everything as like a quick setup uh, process. Uh, and it helps with some of the um, uh, ingress into the kind uh, cluster. Um, and I did bring up something about uh, doing some things around a Golang program. So one of the things that we have in the service catalog updates, uh, we are looking at bringing in uh, data from scanning tools when you go to scan your uh, clusters, I mean, uh, your containers. So one of the tools we're looking at is Cyclone DX for Python. Um, one of the things that that Cyclone DX for Python uh, does is it, it'll find us all the licenses for all the modules that are installed. Uh, which is very handy, uh, something that we need, and it fits into that SBOM or the software bill materials uh, that Tracy was talking about. And one of the things that we ran into is um, that needs to run against the container and uh, the, the Python packages in the container. And the way we originally set it up was to um, be running as part of the build process. And what we found is we can't get the output file that we create out of the, the build out of that step without having to run the container. Um, so what we're doing is uh, just kind of re um, pivoting a little bit to go ahead and pull um, to run the container image that's been built. And when we go and run it, we'll create a new entry point and run the Cyclone DX at that point. So some finagling we're doing. Um, and that's kind of like where we're at from this morning uh, process. Uh, and I can go into any other specific topics if anybody is uh, interested. <laughs> so why don't we just start 
now that you gave, gave a summary, um, let's just yep. do some introductions. Um, uh, Brad, do you want to uh, introduce yourself and what you're up to? Yeah, hi everyone. Um, my name is Brad. I'm in the, from Australia, so um, excited to be here. Thanks for making the time for the time zone. Um, looking into starting contributing to Atelier, so this is my first meeting. So really, um, yeah, it's good to get a feel of what you guys are up to. Um, and yeah, please let me know how I can contribute. I have my background is software engineering. Um, then I've transitioned into DevOps, so I have sort of a vast skill set, um, particularly in Kubernetes at the moment. Um, yeah. Would you like to know anything else? Uh, are you are you looking to do? Uh, are you interested in doing programming or doing more DevOps stuff? Because we are okay. flexible to help anybody learn anything. Yeah. Um, Probably DevOps stuff is better. Um, I also like, uh, you know, mentoring people as well. So if, if anyone would like some help in learning Kubernetes or DevOps, I'm happy to help as well. So yeah, really in the Kubernetes space and open source, uh, especially Kipton as well. I'm very interested in Kipton at the moment. Yeah, we are too. We're um, that is one of on our list to to do some integrations around is uh, the captain uh, event driven CI CD is is something that we see that uh, is the kind of what the future direction is going to be of the pipeline. Yeah, and um, one of the issues I think it was 170 for chat ops, I have experience in that as well. So um, if you need help there, I'm more than happy to help there. Okay, perfect. And also, um, my old team will come to the next meeting as well. So we should have hopefully around seven more people at the next one too. So I'm going to start trying to gather a lot of people in this region and really boost this region. Because um, we're APAC lacks in terms of open contributing to open source. So we're really trying to boost that over there at the moment. Um, um, helping organize the Kubernetes community days here, which will be in October. So that will be a, a pretty big event to try and boost that. And maybe Wotelius can do some talks there as well. Right, perfect. Well, we may end up, we've been kicking around a, an idea of tasking your group with uh, focusing on GitOps and how Ortelius can fit into GitOps. Okay. So, um, still early on in that discussion, um, but that may be something we may be throwing your way since you have a, a group of people, it sounds like they could put their heads together on that. Sure, yep. Sounds good to me. Yeah, we, um, we know we need to have a strategy. So I think the first thing would be for you guys to kind of wrap your head around what we're doing um, uh, with Ortelius and how we potentially can generate the YAML files and you know automate the pull requests, and, that, and that's sort of what we're thinking. So instead of calling a, um, a deployment engine like Helm or Spinnaker, we would be generating the YAML files and automating the pull request to the right environment. So we eliminate the human element of having to manage that part of it. You know, pulling the SHA, updating the file, and then uh, doing a merge and pushing it into an environment. Okay. That's what, so that's that's what our thought would be, because then you guys can uh, kind of have your um, have meetings that are appropriate times for you, and we can um, work with you on it and keep you up to date with where what's happening on the morning meetings on the on the uh, on the architecture calls. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the, um, thanks again for the time. It, it, it's sometimes hard to get the meetings in our time zone. Um, I also contribute to the CNCF SIG security and it took us a year to get them to make a meeting for for the APAC region. So yeah. And uh, the, the 
The others that are on this call, it's some ridiculous hour of the day for them, like at 3.30 in the morning. So they're just being crazy Ooh. right now to be on this call. <laughs> wow. well, let's go ahead and introduce everybody else. So Atul. Atul is new as well. Um, Atul, you want to say hello? Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, so hi, uh, I'm Atul, I'm from India, and I'm, it's my second meeting. Uh, my first meeting was just a few hours back, uh, <laughs> and, uh, uh, and I'm taking these meetings just to understand uh, and learn about this product and the way I can contribute to it. And Atul, Atul's uh, just finishing up school, so he is kind of new to the business, and uh, I think will be really fun to it's always fun to work with people who are just getting into this field. We, we need to keep, we need to recruit, retain our DevOps professionals, that's for sure. And we'll, like, like I said, we'll definitely um, help you out. And if you want to, and this goes for everybody, if you see a issue out there or a topic or something that you're uh, interested in, um, but you just don't know how to, where to start or how to start or um, you know, where resources are, uh, just let us know and we'll make sure that you get what you need to uh, move forward. And we have, uh, I have no problem helping people learn how to program, uh, DevOps stuff, all that. I've been around forever. I'm ancient in this world. <laughs> like I told this people the other day, I wrote my first program on a Commodore 64 in 1978 in basic. So uh, I've done a few programming languages. <laughs> basic was my first as well, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and then they ruined it and they came up with Visual Basic. <laughs> yeah. I, I used to use Delphi before oh, yeah. Visual Basic. Yeah. I, I started at a very young age. My father was a developer, so um very very young i always started with basic you know, delphi and then bb6 and all that stuff. yeah Del that. delphi was the pascal language right correct yeah. yeah yeah so brad what can we do to help get your you and your team moving fo uh, forward what uh do you think we should do a few of these uh calls initially maybe um on the next call we can uh, potentially do one next week uh and kind of do a, a demo of uh, Artilius, uh, show you yeah. kind of uh, the ropes where we're at. Yeah, um, I'll probably run a hackathon because um, like just here with my t my old team and then that'll at least give them like a baseline of what we're doing. We'll, we'll just maybe we'll deploy Artilius and get it up and running and then we can maybe go to the, yeah, I think another meeting will be great and I can bring them all along. Okay. If you let us know when, um, and this let me know, and I will um, I will get that scheduled. In the sure. meantime, yeah. make sure they're all part of the Google group, and you should have access to everything that, that the Google group has access to. And there are some uh, educational uh, uh, videos on there that Steve has done um, with other team members. Um, okay. Do you um, do you plan to shift from Discord to Slack? No. No. Okay. <laughs> no. Sorry, that's a sensitive question. <laughs> We've been asked, but we I I, prefer, I I it's probably mainly me. I really like Discord. I find it easier to use. I get lost in Slack. Um, okay. I'm so, sure. I think we'll stick with Discord right now. Yep. No, it's just a question. Um, and also, you mentioned KubeCon. Um, I have a friend that's hosting a um, what do you what do you call it? Um, Co-hosted event for uh, the Europe one. Yep. So if you did want to maybe submit a talk, I could get one in for there. It would probably, you know, if people haven't spoken before, it would probably be a good start to warm up for the North America one. So reach out to me if you would like me to push that through. Yeah, if you want to uh, shoot me an email that has the uh, CFP for that, I did yeah. submit a talk for the GitOps um, KubeCon North, uh, the European KubeCon. Okay. 
Yeah, I, I submitted a talk for there as well, but it, it's a little bit tricky to get into if you haven't. I know, um, I know. So, um, but so they their one's called Data on Kubernetes. So they're a co-host of the event. Um, I guess it's a good start to get into okay. the talks. Yeah. Yeah. If, if, if there's a CFP that I can submit to, I will make sure and add that on Tuesday's um, list of places sure. that people can submit talks. Yeah. And I can just let them know that we're keen on that. Yeah. Because that's a, an, an area that we all need to get better at is uh, figuring out how to get these talks submitted. Um, I get them submitted to, I mean, Steve and I speak at, uh, of course, uh, CDCon, we generally get accepted to. Um, we got accepted last year to DevOps World. I'm guessing that we'll get accepted again, I'm hoping. Uh, so we are, we are getting into some of these talks, but we have not been able to break the wall of KubeCon. Yeah, and um, for new speakers, I run a CNCF community group as well. So if anyone wants practice, you're, we're welcome to use that too to, you know, to, I mean, it takes a few talks to be able to get good at presenting. It does. So, yeah, you need to know what to do when things go wrong. Yeah, and that's exactly why we're doing our um, Artilius Microservice Visionaries on May 20th, uh, so that we can get more people having to actually pre you know, put together the PowerPoints and start getting them really learning how to present. So it's a, yeah. a training exercise as much as an education exercise for all of us. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, and, and on that, um, that one is going to be, um, pre-recorded and then we're going to use uh discord and twitch to run the presentations over um so if you have anybody that is interested uh tracy has a couple topics out there i think she put it in no i thought it was the link was in here the link is here if you could put that link in the doc and, but that way, um, what the way we're kind of setting it up is there's a, a host and a presenter. Um, so it'll be kind of two people, uh, you know, host kind of asking questions and the uh, presenter going over the topics. Um, we are also going to have a, um, a panel discussion um, this one could be a little more challenging for you because it's going to, uh, that one I think is going to be live or are we recording the panel? Well, do, we'll record the panel too, but we have, depending on who ends up being on the panel, it will, uh, if we have anybody from India, somebody's going to have to be up early in the morning to do it. It'll be a bad, it, it, that, the panel one is going to be a bad time zone for somebody in, on exactly. the group. <laughs> right now we have, um, let me see who's on the panel. I think it's just right now, it's just everybody from the US. So um, if your team, and this is on the GitOps top, topic. So if your team wants to take on GitOps, we could uh, have you guys uh, do the panel for this GitOps. Sure, yeah, we're, we're, we're working to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and put, put you down. I've just put the CFP for the correlated KubeCon as well in the document. To okay. Make it not a back end column. <laughs> there we go. There you got it. <laughs> and I'll just put it in the chat just for another reason. Perfect. Um, and just so you know, um, we just started our service catalog work, um, like a week and a half ago. Um, this has been like the first uh, real week that we are about the, this, the completion of the, the second week that we've been really um, focused on that and moving things along. And I've been doing a stand up on Mondays at 8.30 MST time. Um, but what I uh, will, we, we can do is if when you get into the uh, more coding on from uh, your group, uh, we could do those standups at another uh, time. So um, we won't have everybody all on, on board at once, but I think we can do a split meeting again uh, with favorable time zones for uh, different groups. 
And the idea behind that is just to um, get over any technical issues that we're running, coding, uh, design changes, you know, stuff that we just need to, the day-to-day -day more of like a stand-up type of uh, meeting, um, how we can get things accomplished, um, what the road blockers are, those type of things. Okay. Tracy, did you have anything else? Nope. Um, but just Brad, if you give us a, a time for some time next week, uh, we'll pull together. Steve can pull together the videos that he's done in the past and kind of get your team uh, started. I know that uh, we're working on getting a kind of a standard development environment set up locally too. That was kind of the discussion today. So we can cover that. Um, sure. uh, so I'm gonna throw one more link in the chat. It's where the documentation is for not only the, the user guide for Atelius, but the contributor guide. Um, so the contributor guide we've been, it's been more fluid um, we've been, as we've been moving along, uh, adding more and more resources in here. So this one gets updated at least once a week uh, with new things that we found and clarifications and stuff like that. Yeah, I went through, um, I've been through this before. It's, it's good work, actually. Thank you. And then um, I'm always available on Discord. Okay. Even at, even yeah, at weird I, hours. Okay. Um, and in terms of chat ops, um, do you guys need help with that or have you got something underway? Uh, we've put that on hold for now because we're okay. focusing on the, the service catalog piece. Um, sure. That, that kind of was the service catalog was voted on to be more important uh, than the chat ops, but uh, Chat ops and Git ops are definitely on the the horizon here, the the close horizon. Um, yeah. Some of the other things that we need to address is visualization of our dependency relationships. So, Karam, who's in India, has started working on some of that. Um, he did a blog with bringing in open telemetry as a possibility to mirror up with our dependency maps um, and kind of graph out that data. Uh, and there will be other, other tools that we need to bring in, um, like plugins to, uh, we have to do a up, update our Tecton one. Um, we have to do one around, well, as soon as we figure out what we're gonna do with like the GitOps side, we can then figure mm -hmm. out what the solution is gonna be for like Argo CD, um, Ranchers Fleet, and we've, you know, like FluxD from Weaveworks. Yeah. So once we get mm -hmm. a kind of a game plan going, then we can start on those. And then if anybody knows Spinnaker, um, that's another one that we need to, to look at on the Spinnaker uh, side. Sure. But at the same time, if your team really wants to, you know, build a, um, a kind of a chat up solution around Discord where we can, uh, you know, do things like submit builds and whatnot, um, go for it. Yeah, I'll look at the API if they, how that is. Um, I've used Slack and Teams, but I'm happy to look at Discord as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'll investigate that. And then should I make an issue for the Discord or just put it into the chat ops? You can just put it in the chat ops. We can rename that okay. to be more generic. Sure. I've been um, posting a couple, I've been trying out some async meeting sort of thing. So I've posted a couple of videos for when we do come down that track. Perfect. And then I know uh, Karam did some work on our Discord bot for. Um, like our builds and pieces like that. So uh, he does have some familiarity with the Discord APIs a little bit. We just dabbed our toe in it um, for just getting the, uh, the community up and running uh, around Discord. So he may be a resource that you can uh, throw some sure. ideas against. And what programming languages do you prefer? Um, anything but Java. We're trying to move away from Java. Yeah. 
Do you like Garlang? I don't. I've never programmed in it. It'll take me okay. a couple hours to learn it. So but that, yeah. there's a lot of people who want to start using Golang. So that that's cool. Golang and Python have been everybody's favorite too. And yeah. with people saying they'd like to learn more about Golang. So, um, you know, we can jump into any of those languages if it means that people are going to learn it. That's that's always a good thing. Yeah, it's a good cro uh, cross learning uh, opportunity. Um, ones I've been kind of staying away from right now are like Rust, um, uh, Node, uh, and sticking mainly the two that we've been really focusing on primarily are going to be uh, uh, Python is what we're having all the new microservices written in Python Flask to be uh, specific. Okay. And then um, I did come up with a program that we needed to write around the, the Cyclone DX scanning that will probably fit well with Golang um, as part of that. And then um, the other stuff, you know, the, the front end for to this is all JavaScript and jQuery. Um, mm -hmm. It's not the best written front end. It's actually quite a mess. Uh, just the guys that wrote it a couple of years ago just did not decide on a framework and they did it from scratch. So it's a little confusing. Um, uh, gentlemen, I have to jump because I've got a you get board meeting. I, I got a board meeting I had to get to. All right. Sure. But I, it, this is not my Zoom account. So it, well, hopefully it won't end when you just. You shouldn't. Yeah. You're the host, Steve. So. OK. Brad, it was a pleasure meeting you. Looking forward to working with you and your yeah. team. Yeah, yeah and thanks very much. So um, send uh, Tracy or myself uh, an email or on uh, Discord for uh, a date that works for the other seven people that you mentioned uh, next week or a week after. Yeah, look, um, this this time exactly is perfect. Um, okay. It's it's a more easy day for everyone. They don't have the um, retros and agile ceremonies, etc. So. Okay, all right. I will um, I will book it for the same time next week. Let me just double check. I'm pretty sure that's going to be no problem. Give me one second. Grab my calendar. Oh, you know what? I'm traveling that day. I think. Let me get okay. back to you on, I can't remember if I'm we, leaving on the 21st. We can do the, the week after if you want. Oh, hang on, Tracy's saying something to me. Okay. Okay, yeah, next week's good. The week after is when I'm traveling. So the 22nd, uh, okay. 22nd, same time. Sure, yep, that sounds good to me. And, and, I'll, um... and have your, uh, I put in the chat uh, the Google group. Um, so it's a little bit back in the history, but uh, it's Ortelius-Dev in the Google groups. And they can just go in, uh, ask to be a member, and I'll, we'll get them approved. And when, what happens there is they get access to all the shared uh, Google Drive, all the calendar invites, everything like that is run through uh, that Google group for permissions. Um, sure. So that is the easiest way to get them uh, the information that they need. Okay. Perfect. And then on the um, on the GitHub side, um, if you could do, and if uh, I think you've already done it, um, but there's a README in the Ortilius slash Ortilius repo. Um, just in the bottom of the README, you'll see which um, uh, like kind of working groups you're kind of interested in. If you just do a quick pull request with your name on that, what that allows is when you do the PR and it comes through, I can then add you to the, um, the project and the organization from the, the GitHub yeah. side. Otherwise you don't exist and I can't do anything. <laughs> it's like, I sure. can't, it's one of those weird GitHub security yeah, things. Okay. Yeah, I'll get them to do PRs individually. Yeah. Perfect. I've done mine already. Yeah. So that's about all I have, um, kind of like on the logistics side. So. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it was good to have this initial meeting just to really kickstart it. Yes, yeah. and uh, we're we're definitely happy to have you, uh, you folks aboard and your area. Uh, like you said, it's one of the the 
the parts that that get left behind when you when it doesn't need to be and mm -hmm. we really uh really appreciate you coming aboard yeah i'm excited it's, it's going to be fun all righty well it, we will definitely talk next week and probably earlier on uh, discord yep sounds good all right, all right. have a good day thanks so much thanks no problem. thank you bye bye